In our Sunrise Smart Start, tensions between Russia and the U.S. have reached a new high as Russia continues to beef up its military presence on the Ukraine border. Now, this week, U.S. and Russian officials will undergo high-stake talks in Geneva, Switzerland, to try and de-escalate a potential invasion. Watching it closely in Washington, federal officials stating the U.S. will implement severe economic sanctions on Russia if the country does choose to invade Ukraine. Again, watching those talks closely. In other news this morning, sad news to pass along. Iconic comedian and Full House star Bob Saget has died. He was 65. Saget was found inside a hotel room in Orlando yesterday around 4. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The cause of his death is still unknown. Saget had been touring and was supposed to wrap up a trip coming up in May. Bob Saget, 65. Very sad. Mm -hmm. Always will remember him from Full House, Fuller House. Um, yes, how much right. laughter he brought into our household. Yeah, and and you saw that you see the outpouring of support from yeah. his fellow comedians. You could tell he was really liked. Yeah, and know? really kind. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we will uh, sit back uh, this evening and enjoy uh, some of the some of those uh, mm -hmm. shows that he was in uh, as we uh, stay away from the cold because it is certainly chilly out there. We've got temperatures uh, in the 20s, teens. Single digit to even below zero wind chills tonight. Boots, heavy jacket, hat, and gloves, as we also have snow showers on top of that. I think a couple inches tonight, a couple inches tomorrow as well. For snowfall, those winds uh, 20, maybe even gusting close to 30 miles per hour. We'll take a look at the bus stop forecast at the end of the show. Mark Alley. All right, uh, James, thank you. Let's check the roads now with our sunrise traffic. And uh, so far, so good here on this Monday morning. Live view at 390. 390, 490, and 590, all running on time, should be a smooth ride as you head out the door. In other news this morning, two men arrested after a carjacking in Greece led to a police chase in Rochester. Police say an 84-year-old woman was thrown to the ground before one suspect stole her car yesterday. That car later spotted on Portland Avenue and Clifford Ave in Rochester around 5. Two suspects then took off in the car and a chase ensued. That pursuit ending on North Clinton Avenue and Oscar Street, where the suspects were taken into custody. No injuries were reported. And a 61-year-old woman was taken to the hospital with serious injuries after a shooting Sunday morning in Rochester. Officers responded to Burley Road around 3 a.m. for the report of a person shot. Police say the victim's injuries were life-threatening. Now, we don't have an update on her condition at this hour, and no arrests have been made. But, of course, anyone with information is asked to call 911. Let's get the latest on COVID-19 this morning. The State Department of Health releasing a new warning about a rise in COVID cases for school-aged children. Some parts of the state are seeing a rise in kids hospitalized during this surge. Eric Hedekos joins us live in the newsroom with more. Eric Hedekos, good morning. Good morning, and amid this surge, we're seeing some districts like RCSD turning to remote for a few weeks amid the peak. A new report from the Department of Health shows uh, data from the first week of December to the week leading up to New Year's, and statewide hospitalizations in kids up to age 18 increased from 70 to 571 in that time frame. Just over half of these cases didn't have pre-existing health issues. About 90% in ages 5 to 11 are unvaccinated children, and about 65% in ages 12 to 17 are unvaccinated as as well. Still not seeing what I want to see in children. 29%, you had the whole holiday to do it. Now we can get more kids vaccinated. We've had the ability to do this. But the best news I've heard is that the CDC is now allowing 15, uh, 12 to 15 year olds to be eligible for a booster shot, the Pfizer boosters. Here in Monroe, in Monroe County, just under 30% of children ages 5 to 11 have had at least one dose, and just over 60% of ages 12 to 15 have had their first dose. For now in the newsroom, Eric had a cost. News 8. Very informative. Thank you, Eriketa. For the latest on where to get your child vaccinated and when, you can head over to MonroeCounty.gov. Well, time now for some news from around the state. 19 people are dead, including nine children, after an apartment fire in New York City. 
The five alarm fire happened around 11 a.m. on Sunday in the Bronx, and more than 60 people were injured. According to Mayor Eric Adams, the cause of the fire was a space heater. Adams calling this, quote, a horrific, horrific, painful moment for the city of New York. Governor Kathy Hochul announced she will be setting up a victim's compensation fund for new housing, burial costs, and other necessities for those who've been impacted. Just a terrible story there. Let's finish with some good news here at the water cooler. How about those Buffalo Bills, your AFC East champions for the second straight year. They beat the Jets 27-10 to on Sunday. The Bills will now host the Patriots in the first round of the playoffs. Wild card weekend this upcoming weekend. Kickoff is at 8.15 Saturday night. You'll see it right here on Channel 8 WROC. And tune into News 8 all week long, of course, as we give you the latest from the players and coaches ahead of the big playoff matchup. It's always a good Monday when Buffalo Bills fans are happy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're going to yeah. be seeing a lot of Bills jerseys uh, at school uh, for today. Mm -hmm. uh, bus stop forecast, it's going to be chilly. Uh, certainly wind chills near zero. Temperatures not really improving much. Uh, numbers in the uh, teens, it's around 20. The cold sticks around. Snowfall likely stays closer to Lake Ontario. Uh, along the 104 corridor, that's the best place to see snow showers, and then especially over as you get into uh, Wayne County, especially uh, really, I would say, you think about uh, Huron, Wolcott, North Rose, those areas, winter weather advisory for just about everybody. You see that four sticks out like a sore thumb, mm -hmm. and uh, it will certainly be chilly, really even into Tuesday morning. So, Allie, your first uh, really uh, big day with us as yes. a full team. We're so happy that you were able to join us. You brought the cold, obviously, with you as well. I wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. It's been great to be here and to join the Sunrise team. You guys have been awesome already this morning, and I'm excited to be waking up with, uh, you know, Western New York. Yeah, we're psyched, too. It's awesome to have you here. It's the start of a new day here at Channel 8, and uh, we certainly encourage you to tune in uh, to check it out every day with us. Yeah, Absolutely. we'll be here, and uh, I'll keep going with the weather. As hopefully, I can warm things up over the next few days. <laughs> right. Thank you, James. Well, thank you so much for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 30 minutes. CBS Mornings is up next. Have a great day.